talking about the customer experience on video has been like that to me is the biggest driving force that's that's had the best results. A lot of roofers are charismatic, but a lot of them do not want to do that, that charisma in front of a camera for some reason. So how do you get them off the fence? A photo of you and your family talking about the story of your business and you know why you're doing what you're doing and the, the passions mm -hmm. that lie behind it. Like we've seen some insane results behind that. Hey, how's it going? It's Tim Brown, and this is the Hook Better Leads Podcast. And today I have Jordan Harrison from Presto Media. I was about to say roofer because he got the hat on. Rocking it down here, though. Presto Media, how you doing, brother? Good, man. How about yourself? Doing well. And Richie Reeder from the Contractor Social Media Guru, which I will shorthand as Guru for this podcast. Yeah, how you doing, brother? Um, wonderful, bro. I should have definitely rethought the name before we, uh, before we launched the brand, but none of this, but it makes it's sense. It's all good. Shorthand, shorthand is good. Guru. So Guru versus Presto. We're actually talking about done for you social media today. We're going to talk about their services. Normally we don't kind of go so deep into an actual service, but for this one, I'm really trying to serve up these two options to you as a, as a contractor as a as possible solutions um there are people this is this is my ideal you post on social media yourself that's my ideal i actually think it's better than either of the things that these guys do yeah. <laughs> they're, they're yeah. probably like what the fuck tim why no, you have i something? agree but I but the thing is is that most of you don't most of you don't and it's better to have one of these guys do it for you than you not do it at all and like, I'm talking about 98% of roofers in particular, and I think a lot of other home services too, but yeah. don't post anything and don't post enough for sure. Because one post a week is not enough anymore. And one post a day is good, but it's not even excellent, which is the crazy part. Dude. It's not even excellent. And we're going for excellent, right? So we're going to talk about all the different things, but let's get a really short synopsis of your service as quickly as you can. One minute or less. Go, Reggie. So we do branded content for contractors. We do it on three platforms, GMB, Facebook, and Instagram. And obviously every single one of those have a special strategy. Awesome. And... What kinds of content? Because I know Jordan's is a little bit more video and yeah. reels so, focus on average. So where, where, Jordan, where Jordan is more branded, we do more of, I mean, more organic. We do more of a branded approach. So we essentially take what you're doing and stuff. We use your branding colors. We use your logo, all those kind of things and stuff. We basically just make you look absolutely amazing on social media. We basically make sure that you're appearing where you need to be. Okay, appearing. I'm just going to, I'm going to summarize. So like I saw like testimonials, before and afters. Here we go. Um, Tips and tricks. Educational. And it's all like it's images focused a little bit. Yeah, there we I go. I think and what you're trying to do is you're trying to not have you're trying to not have them um, have to contribute that much. From what I understand, from as, what I can tell, we try to make it as Jordan, busy as possible because we know they're busy. Jordan's uh, he required like you have they have to shoot video for you is that correct Jordan so Jordan can you give us a synopsis in one minute of your services and the types of content yeah we help you build out an organic marketing strategy on Facebook Instagram and also Google Business Profile um, where we are heavy on helping you create video content so we will give you all the scripting you need you actually get a call with me that actually goes over, here's the things that you need to do, here's the types of hooks, here's the type of videos you need to create. So you get comfortable on creating and posting the video yourself. Mm. You want editing done, then we can also edit on the back end to make it look good. So that we are heavily focused on just building the organic strategy as a whole because that's how you build your brand on social media is that way you need Google for leads, you need a website that looks fantastic, but you're going to build trust with social media. So our goal is to get them on video so they can do that. We're going to do a deep dive, but I want to start with secondly, an objection to both of your services. Uh, I'm going to go one by one and I'm going to, I'm going to ask that you answer my objection. Reggie, an objection. Most 
posts on social are kind of duds. You know what I mean? Um, and, and a lot of the image posts and stuff like that, it's hard to get past even like a hundred views of something. Absolutely. Impressions. It's like mm-hmm. hard. So aren't you just kind of feeding into this glut of content that never gets seen on the internet with some of these posts? I actually like that question a lot. Um, so you could definitely look into it that way, right? But with, with Facebook specifically, like, and we're talking just about Facebook right now. So you can just post content, right? And you can just pop it onto your page and stuff. And you kind of hope that, you know, it might find the right audience. But in the long run, it's kind of more about actually putting it in front of your your prospects, right? So the wonderful thing about Facebook is we have community groups, right? And on top of that, we actually have these service area groups. So say, for example, you're in Ohio and you're servicing maybe the Columbia area or, or Columbus area or something like that. You can actually go and join neighborhood groups, right? So yes, now you've created branded content and the branded content sits on your page. It's not really doing anything. It's not really serving a purpose in any form. Of way. And this is actually great with uh, the organic content that Jordan and do because it ties into what we do very nicely. Uh, their, their content kind of drives traffic to, to ours just because of the fact that reels and so on and so forth actually do end up in front of, I want to say, people that have interest in your content as opposed to just posting stuff. But the great thing about those community groups is you can actually share to those community groups, right? So every single day that you put something out, you can share to about 10 to 15 groups. So what we have found is oversharing doesn't work too well. You do want to limit yourself to about 10 to 15 groups a day and you want to regulate them. So if you have a business page, right, and you're a roofer, you want to join about 50 groups in total, maybe more, depending on how big your service area is. And you want to choose 10 to 15 of those groups every day and you want to share that. And besides that, you want to pop that content onto your story as well. It really helps with the reach overall. I mean, like we're seeing, we're seeing. So do you guys do that automatically when you're posting? Oh, no, that's not automatically. Do you guys do that automatically when you're posting and put it on the story and everything? Well, okay, so that's not automated at all. Um, Are you on people with individual post pages or the the company page? So, so what we do is the content is okay. So our automation works like this, right? Our content is automatically posted to GMB, Facebook, and Instagram with a hashtag strategy on Instagram, a keyword strategy on GMB, and then on Facebook the groups, right? And the the sharing itself is not automated. That's what we do in house. Um, so what we do essentially is every single day we have account managers and what the account managers do is they take care of the sharing. So we make sure that the content actually gets to the right people. It's not just posting okay. and hoping for the best. Sweet. Perfect. Jordan, how about you? Um, I'm, I'm going to get to a different question here, which is most uh, roofers either, sorry, a lot of roofers are charismatic, but a lot of them do not want to do that, that charisma in front of a camera for some reason. So how do you get them off the fence and get them, can you get them actually charismatic on camera? That's always the toughest part. I feel like it's hard to tease that out of people to get that awesome personality that they have to be directed at a camera for some reason. Yeah, that's a great question. So I take, I have them shoot more videos than they need to first. And then second, I have them answer questions that they're super comfortable with. So when we do our initial call and cause we do, we build out strategy. So it's, it's based around what is, what are they working on at that moment? Whether it be, I'm going for insurance, I'm going for retail roofs, whatever the strategy may be. And I will get them to answer questions or ask some questions that they are so comfortable with that they don't have to think about. So we start with something that's super easy for them. So then that way they're like, Oh yeah, I know everything about this then they can more comfortably talk on camera. But yes, it always, always tell them it sucks at the beginning. Um, I, and I'll show them some of my old videos from back in 2006, because I have videos from that far away. Um, and I just, I have them basically just answer the easiest questions possible and, and make it as comfortable as possible until they get, we can get to more in-depth stuff and we can talk about here, use this hook for this type of video um, just talk about this, use this framework. So it always starts with answering easy questions first. So they're very comfortable in talking to it. Like it's somebody one-on-one. Awesome. I love that. Um, for yourselves, what are you doing that's working right now? Um, to get new clients? Like what are you guys doing that's getting new clients and how does that principle apply to what you're doing for roofers and other home service businesses? Uh, Jordan, do you mind if Greg, I you first? answer this one? Yeah, so uh, you're definitely going to hate the answer to this question. Uh, Call DM, believe it or not. Um, 
I mean, look, word of mouth, we've obviously, you guys have to understand, right? So we're a new agency and stuff. It, and the fact that we're not locally based, and I know that this is such a, such a red flag for most people. Yeah! Top rep, we're doing top rep then. It's great training. So you gotta have that defined sales process, check Toki specifically. I don't understand how people make it with a defined sales process as an established company. But just starting out, you definitely need to have that because they need to know, like, and trust you through the whole process mm -hmm. to, in order to give you money. Completely understand it. Like, I know that uh, the roofing industry is one of the most. Benji, um, I don't really care. By the way, I make memes. I make memes making fun of the strategy. I know. That's for the entertainment of roofing. No, 100%. 100%. I, don't Look, I don't take it personally, hey. I don't take it personally. Negative towards the strategy. Absolutely. Look, I don't take it personally. I equate it to uh, roofers door knock. Yeah, it's essentially roofers the same door thing. Knock it is. Marketers DM. But you know, Tim, let's be like we're, let's be let's be fair. You know, don't like, love door knock. You can get someone annoying knocking on your door, or you could get someone super respectful. You know, just trying to deliver a little bit of perspective. So. My, my big thing is, and like most of the people I've spoken to, you know, they would reiterate what I'm saying, like Lisa, you know, affirmated. I don't, I don't hit your DM trying to sell you anything. Like my thing is, I just want you guys to know about us. I, I want to give you a little bit of perspective on what we do because we are, like I said, very affordable initially, you know, and uh, I'd like to put that on the table for people. So when I get onto calls with people, it's not like a, hey, look at my results. This is what we do. This is what we cost kind of thing. I just kind of want to show people what we're up to, you know, like for me, it's a whole thing of this is what we could possibly do for you. And if it does make sense to you, then, you know, let's do it kind of thing. But I don't, uh, we don't necessarily, we've tried multiple avenues. I also want you guys to understand it because we're, we're South African based, like running ads in dollar just doesn't make any sense to us and stuff like that. We just don't get the ROI on it. So for us, this is the best option. Reggie, let me introduce you to something called creating content. I'm camera shy. <laughs> Mad camera shy, bro. Well, well so you're getting over now? it. You're getting over it. Jordan, how about you? Uh, video content? <laughs> yeah. And you really get business that way. Yeah, it's... Um... It's a combination of video content and then just building relationships, like going to things like mm. RoofCon. Like, yeah, I went when I went to RoofCon this past year because all the videos I put out, I literally had people come up to me saying, "I love your videos." They've never engaged with them, never talked about them. They just were like, "I love your videos. They're great. I appreciate it." Because all of them, or I have an education background, right? I was a band director for fifteen years, um, and that's where I actually started doing video content. Was was while I was doing that, but the the amount of videos I put out, which is usually one to three a day, and the fact that they're all educational, they're all – I try to do funny stuff, but it fails. Um, I, I don't think it bad. fails, Jordan. Those are the only ones I watch of yours. <laughs> or the, yeah, the ones that I'm not talking about something they need to be doing. Um, so, you know, and I try and test for things. But it's video content, one, and then two, just building relationships inside, like going to RoofCon, things like that, through partnerships and – having conversations with other business owners like Tim, like I won't yeah. talk about your competitors, but um, th those big things. Well, you can those... talk about my competitors. You know how I am, bro. Well, Mike Stearns, um, yeah. him as well. And then on the HVAC side, uh, I have a lot of contractors or marketing companies on that side too um, that I do work for them. I do video content for marketing companies, and they also refer to me as well because they see their work. And So networks, video content, but that's where it all stems from. And um, so you're saying networking, video, events, and like, you know, partnerships. Yeah. All the things that require you building a relationship. Yeah. It's basically, that's the weirdest part to me. Like I used to, because we did SEO, right? And Google ads and whatever, and websites. So I thought I could SEO my way to a ton of business for me. Like you don't always have to, this goes into like marketing, marketing mm -hmm. agency consulting topic here, but mm -hmm. it's like, you don't always have to build business the way that you do. You get business for your clients. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it is different sometimes. It's just like, it actually usually is different. On yeah. Average. Um, I don't think, but I don't think the general talk about your guys teams. Where where are you where are you at in building a team? I know you guys have both started hiring, so where are you at on building the team and where are you hoping to bring it in the next year or so? Reggie, I'll let you start. So we we recently hired an absolutely wonderful uh, account manager slash content creator, Abby. Um and she's really made things wonderful on our side and stuff like that. Um 
our our big thing is quality control right and i don't necessarily want to scale things to a size where we can't actually give people a personal service because at the end of the day social media is authenticity and it's personal you know you can't necessarily so with you with you with uh with 50 clients just to you you're going to be able to provide a more personal service no so in my opinion 50 is already overkill if i'm being dead honest with you um I'm Look, just saying you can provide, you can scale a team and create systems. Technically, you, yes. And they'll be better than when it was just you. So I want to I I I reference, reference one of the videos that you actually posted. Um, and it actually, it really gave me contrast into, you know, running a business. Because I'm ne not necessarily, you know, I haven't been an entrepreneur for a long time. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, let's say like maybe five years into this kind of thing. So obviously, you know, you learn every day. And uh, one of the big things that I learned from one of your videos was actually like when you when you do hire, you are going to have to, in inverted commas, sacrifice quality somewhere along the line because not everybody is you, you know. Um, so I think in that in that space and in that regard, we've learned a lot with regards to finding the middle ground in that and finding a way to compensate to get the quality back as well as to, you know, release some of what's what's actually going on within the business but we're not necessarily actually looking at scaling we actually aren't even onboarding right now if i'm being dead honest with you we we're at a space right now where we're building out our systems to make sure that we can keep the quality and actually scale as well awesome how about you jordan so we uh we just hired a part-time video editor um we were about to hire a graphic designer um, and social media management to do the posting for me to cut down on some of the time, the tasks that I do myself. Uh, the goal within the next year is to have two full-time video editors, um, not only producing client content, but mine as well, because I edit them all my own videos. Um, so two full-time editors within the next year, um, and then one account manager and one social media manager. That's kind of the goal. And that way I can be more hands-on with strategy with clients and making sure that I'm doing that within the next two to three years, obviously I have somebody to, to take over that position. Awesome. All right, let's do, so, so we kind of gave a, a little, just if somebody wanted to work with you, this is kind of what you do. Um, but let's go into more about like what you've been seeing work for clients and maybe that will be useful for folks that are trying to do this themselves too. So what have you been seeing that's working for clients on social media content? Let's go with Jordan first. Um, video. Uh, I always refer back to that. So videos work no, really no, well. I know, I know, because that's your main thing. But I'm saying yeah. get a little bit more granular. What have you seen like more than once that is easy? It's easy for roofers to potentially emulate on their videos that that's working. Yeah, um, the educational side of videos. So prime example, um, actually getting on video and sh and walking through the process of the customer experience. So saying that this is what works really well is talk about. Um, prime, there's one guy that does this all the time too, is going, Hey, this homeowner, we'll go insurance claim for a moment. This homeowner got denied three times. Um, this is what we did. We walked through this whole process and we we're able to get them approved to have this roof put on for, you know, for the price of whatever the deductible. Um, and, and we finally got them approved and taken care of. So talking about the customer experience on video has been like that to me is the biggest driving force that's that's had the best results. Second and you've part, seen like people get business from that. Yeah. Second part getting business would be just showing your projects consistently before, during, after. So using like company cam and taking that that content and either putting it on your website with like Project Map it or with the company cam slideshows. Like those things, those things people have gotten business when they're like, man, that looks really good. Or, hey, I really like that. So it's all about social proof um, and showing how you provide a great customer experience. Those are the two things we've seen the best. How about you, Reggie? What have you seen uh, that's both gotten views and likes uh, or whatever and new business for roofers recently? So what we've, what we found is some relatability essentially, right? So as opposed to, you know, like doing a whole bunch of branded stuff, looking all great and so on and so forth, a photo of you and your family talking about the story of your business and, you know, why you're doing what you're doing and the, the passions mm -hmm. that lie behind it. Like we've seen some insane results behind that. Uh, and just general authenticity. Like, I don't think a lot of people realize how easy it is to record content. You could be on the road on the way to an inspection. You get behind your camera and you talk about the fact that your dog did something strange this morning. Like, it's content, you know, and you've got your branding on you and stuff. And people connect with those kind of things. 
people tend to forget that when you're doing social media, you don't necessarily just have to talk about your business and your brand, but maybe how you connect to that or how your life connects to that. And that's sort of where we've seen a lot of success because people, like I said, they connect with people. They don't necessarily connect with brands, especially not at this level. I mean, like if you look at McDonald's, it's a, it's a corporation. It makes sense. People connect with the brand. But if you look at a roofing company or necessarily the influence a roofing company has on social media, you definitely go the authentic route. You go with your face as opposed to necessarily standing behind a brand or something like that. That's sort of just what we've seen success in. Even putting a, a business owner's face on the templates as opposed to just having like a, something branded, something for someone to connect to. So they know who's rocking up at their house. They know who they're talking to. They know mm. who they're working with. Those kind of things. Put your face on social media. It's golden That's gold. good. Contractors love the catch-all because it makes every single one of their roof builds easier and more profitable. Protective netting wraps facade and landscaping to prevent from left-behind nails and damage. Homeowner referrals bring you more jobs and insurance supplements bring you more profits. But my favorite part, the branding. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna wrap up with, I want, if you guys are comfortable, whatever you're comfortable sharing, I'd love to include a price and a call to action here for folks. Um, and I know that this, this price might be outdated if you watch this video in a year, but most people are gonna be watching this in the next few weeks. So I'm asking for you to put your, um, you know, clear offer and a price and a call to action. And I'm going to start with Jordan. Yeah. So if you want to start taking control of your own social media content and building your brand online with Facebook and Instagram and Google business profile, so you're showing up the right way uh, and you're ready to start getting on video because those are things that I, I won't say require you. Yeah, I require you to do that. Let's just say that. Um, it is to post five times a day on those three platforms um, is seven forty nine a month. Also included, you're getting content strategy with me. Plus, you can reach out to me anytime. Plus, all the resources you need to actually create the video from the equipment you need with a phone and a microphone all the way down to, um, you know, the frameworks you need. Right. And then we'll even script it for you. Second thing is posting every single day. On those three platforms is 997. Same deliveries on the back end. All right, Reggie. So we do six days worth of branded content a month. You're going to pay $500 for that. And we have a unique strategy for every single platform, obviously. Right? So Instagram has its own unique uh, hashtag strategy. Obviously, your service area is unique. Are you saying six days a week? Six days a week, yes. So from Monday all the way through to Friday, we're doing branded content for you guys. We make sure it gets shared to 10 service groups on Facebook every day. Your Instagram hashtag strategy is unique to your service area. And the work we do is we do GMB as well. And we use keywords from the previous month as well as keywords that we theorize might work for the next month. If those keywords don't work, we obviously just readjust and we'll go from there. So that's uh, 500 for the month and uh, it covers you six days a week, four weeks of the month. And I love that both of your services are very affordable and I know that they'll evolve from here and stuff like that as you guys add value and continue to increase the value of the services. But I just, I think that it's really nice for roofers to have options like these. Um, we position this podcast as a versus, but I think, frankly, you could probably have both of these and it'd be good. And you pro like ultimately... That's what I think. That's my call to action. You should have both of these and see how they go. Um, you guys are probably like, I don't know about that. Well, they don't. Well, it, it makes sense. You know, it makes who sense. cares? If I, if, I, if I may affirm yeah. what you've said and explain exactly why what you say works extremely well, right? And on top of that, Matt on ads, you've got a winning recipe, right? So the reason, the reason what we do kind of works together extremely well. So what Jordan does is, Organic content does drive traffic, and it's just because of the fact that reels and videos and stuff end up in front of people who actually have interest in your content, whereas branded content doesn't because Facebook likes to make money off you. So if you're not running ads and paying for budget behind it, they can tell it's branded content because videos obviously have meta tags, so they know, okay, this is not branded content, this is a video. So the algorithm works differently with those kind of content or like photos as opposed to what it does with, uh, you know, branded content, for example. So what Jordan does drives traffic to what we do. What we do builds trust, and then what Matt does is it just drives traffic to pretty much everything else it kind of it's a i want to call it a synergy if that makes Just sense matt smith right yeah, guy. Yeah, absolutely. i don't think i don't think that you uh yeah um ads matt smith is an ads guy we yeah. sometimes 
um, talk about Carson Nugent and there's um, a few other good Facebook ads guy guys. Um, we do run Facebook ads, but I don't talk about it. Okay. We have it with, yeah. Talk about your other services briefly. I, I know that you're on the come up with those, but give us a little rundown of what you're doing with the other services. Um, we have, I, I don't want to come out and be like, we do all Facebook ads. We, we test with clients first to make sure we can get results, but we do, mm -hmm. we have gotten results with our concrete fence guy that we started with Facebook ads. Nice. Um, and so we, we are adding Facebook and Google ads down, down the road. We do have a Facebook and Google ads media expert that's been doing it for a couple of years now that, um, that has come on board. Um, but we haven't put the packages together yet, so I didn't want to talk about it on the podcast. Um, but the whole goal is to us to build out your organic content, know what works, like, hey, this is working. So we got three months of data to go, this content works, this content sucks, this content's doing really great, so now we're going to put some money behind it um, and, and direct it towards a strategy, whether it be retargeting from a direct mail campaign, whatever it is. Um, so those are things that we add on. But for this podcast, I just – we were talking about context. I think that's still the most important part is you're actually at least getting content out. Cause I can tell you this, like in the, in my area in Birmingham, Alabama, I look at content and, and like, I don't see contractors on social media and I follow pretty much every contractor that's in this area. There's very few, very few that are on social. Mm -hmm. So, um, I just actually getting on there doesn't even matter what it is. You're already winning. <laughs> To be honest, um, so yeah. But as far as that concerns, like we're not a Facebook, we're probably not up to the level of uh, who'd you say Nugent? Nugent? I forgot his name. You talking about Matt Smith, and I was saying Matt Carson. Smith. Yeah, so okay. we're not exclusively to that, but we're adding that on um, yeah. and, and testing out um, in, in upcoming. But no, to me, you got to know what works first to organic, and that's what we do first, and then we we add those we add those on later. I, I wanna, okay, I guys, what's your dot com? www.thecontractorsocialmediaguru.com. And Jordan? Uh, you just need to follow me on social media. Get to know me first. Like, follow all my content. If you like me, send me a DM on either Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. And that is at J. Jordan Harrison. So, at J. Jordan Harrison on all these platforms. You'll find me easy. Um, follow my content. Learn what I have to offer. Learn what if if we worked. If you feel like we want to work together, and then you can reach out to me on DM. That's the best way. All right, jeez, he's like, don't even message me unless you get to know me first. I like it. Um, okay, so we're wrapping up. Um, in short, I believe you should be posting on social media more. I ideally, it's you, and if not, you should be posting no matter what. Somehow, get it done. I no excuses. There's so many roofers that know this is good for their business, that pride themselves as a no holds bar, get shit done type of person, but yet don't get this shit done <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so do whatever it takes in this situation and whatever it takes sometimes is hiring a professional that's doing this all day, every day for folks. So hire one of these guys or both of them. And, uh, Thank you for joining me for another podcast. This is the Hook Better Leads podcast, hookagency.com. Appreciate everyone checking this out. Hopefully this is useful. And thank you guys for spending um, some time with me.